Okay, so we've covered a lot of ground up to now. Uh, we're now on um, part seven of the Subtractor tutorials in Reason Essentials. Um, I'm going to have a look now. Before we move on to, to talk about other things, let's just try and do something um, approaching a useful sound um, using what we've covered or the ground we've covered up to now. Um, we'll start by we, we've initiated uh, initialized the patch. Um, the way we do that is right click reset device Ooh, and it's kicked a few. Okay, that's the um, initiated patch, but let's actually let's stick with the amplitude envelope straight on and off. Let's stick with that saw wave oscillator two switched off. Um, this area here is, is white noise, or, uh, which adds. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll we'll, we'll use that um, to do something with. Um, what can we do? Um, we haven't really done much with the modulation envelope, but the filter envelope we, we we've covered and the filters. So, if we take some a, a bassy kind of sound, um, I think the youngsters call it a want bass. I'm not quite sure what that means, but let's see what we can we can do. Um, so we've started off with a we'll, we'll stick with. Um, this waveform and we've taken it down to octave 2 so it's it's a fairly low note to begin with um, we're gonna add a bit of noise now white noise if you can hear that so there's just like a hiss in the background which is what the white noise is um, maybe take the level down a bit yeah, we've got a velocity somewhere on right that when we hit the key hard the filter envelope kicks in so we'll take that off there we go um so now we're going to take that basic sound and we are going to filter it over the time of the sound we're going to start off um with an attack um let's but what I'm going to try and do is is, is play around, um, have a bit of resonance in there, and then so the sound. Let's, sorry, let's take that out altogether, and then look at this frequency here. So I'm do something with that, which gives you that sort of wompy sound. I think they call it. Okay. Now, what what's happening there is the filter is it's it's a low pass filter. We're going to make it a, a quite aggressive low pass filter, LP twenty four dB per octave. Um, so down here we're, we're we're filtering out all the the high frequencies, and as that filter opens up and lets more and more frequencies through, um, we get a more harmonic enriched sound and this white noise is, is putting a lot of high frequencies in there so that's why that's coming in so we want to control how that comes in over time so if you remember we we do that using the filter we'll set the attack to somewhere um, let's just try something around here so you can see that the initial part of of the note as we as we kick in, it 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 starts off very bassy with all the overtones taken out, and then over time, those overtones come back up, and we get the white noise coming in, which is is higher frequencies all mixed in there. So there's a bit perhaps too much high end coming in there so we'll use the second filter we'll switch the second filter on um, which is a low pass filter and we'll take that down okay. so there we've got a you know a fairly 
useful, if you like, sound. Just using uh, a simple waveform here um, and applying what we know about the amplitude envelope and the filter envelope to, to get us something that um, it sounds like we might be able to use it. Obviously, we try and enrich that and we'll come on to show you how we can apply distortion to that using various other devices in Reason Essentials. Um, but we've uh, just in, very quickly put together uh, a pretty simple sound using the simple parts of Subtractor that we've covered in the first um, six tutorials. So hopefully you can see uh, that that we're actually taking it somewhere which which can be used to produce music, um, which at the end of the day is what it's all about. Um, and I hope that gives you a bit of a break from just crashing through all the detail and not really getting much out of it other than the detail. But hopefully now, having put that sound together, you can see now, having covered the the theory, if you like, behind those various aspects of Subtractor, you can see and appreciate what we've done to, to get that sound, which is half the battle, really. If you have a sound and you, and you can sort of think about how that sound is being made, you can then use your knowledge about how the various bits of Subtractor work to produce the sound you're after, rather than just messing around with various knobs and sliders until something comes out that sounds just about like it might might be useful. We've kind of got an idea of what things do in order to reach um, an end goal by applying what, we, what we've learnt. So hopefully that's useful. Again, leave me some um, comments down below and let me know where you'd like to take these. Uh, I'm quite easy, happy to be guided by what people want to do. Um, but uh, I'll carry on next time with the oscillators and talk a bit more about the, the um, uh, interference of oscillators and, and phase differences and, and um, modulation. Okay, thanks again for listening. See you next time.